Okay, so here's our door schedule. But if you now, if we want to make a window schedule, you start it the same way. You go view schedules, schedule quantities, mm -hmm. and then we. This is where you choose what type of schedule you're making. So if we come all the way down here, I'm going to go to Windows, and it's Windows Schedule. Whatever you put here will be the title at the top. And all this stuff, you can change it later. It's not locked in for good. So you get this, which if you remember from our other schedules, is the same as what you have here on the left side. See fields, filter, sorting, grouping. That's the same as these. So under Field, this is what it's going to start pulling in. The more things you add on this side, the more individual columns you'll have in the chart. So we can first look at looking for all these different things that we have. So if you want, we can put, let's start off with, we can do type. I'm trying to see if family or we can do that. So you can do type. We can do so these are windows. So we can do sill height. Let's start off with like height and width. So rough height, rough width. And you can add as many of these as you want, or as few of these as you want. We can do sill height. So rough will be the rough opening of the of the opening. If you want just width, you can grab width here. Which if you've named these correctly, it should be kind of the same thing. And then maybe we'll put we can put count. And mark. You can add as many as you want. I don't know if it has that all in there already. Because if you haven't added that to that family, it won't have it. Um, so here you can see what it's done. It's made this. We have these two windows. I only have three windows right now. But if you wanted to then go in and say only um, ones that are taller than four foot six. See, this one's. Oh, Four foot. Um, what sheet did it go to? Sorry. It hasn't gone to a sheet. It's going to make it here as a view. So if you look at your project browser, until you add it to a sheet, it's going to just live here. Does that make sense? So it's not really. It's live where? Just in underneath schedules in the views. Because. No. no. On the side. So see here, I have floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D views. If you keep scrolling down, you should have a little section underneath the legends. Schedules. Yes. Schedules. You might have to open mm -hmm. it up. So there you'll see it. And then once you've gotten there, if you wanted to add that to a sheet, we can go... Let me rename this sheet. Oh, this one has a door schedule on it already. Perfect. So here I can rename this a 010. And then I want to bring my window schedule onto here. And notice Revit's smart and it sees that that's the top row. And as you move it, see I'm getting these little snap points that align with the top of that drawing. So you can do that nice and clean. Um, um, it will be the same information that we added for the door schedule? You can. I said this one will have, um, it may be different because you'll have a sill height, whereas here you had a head height. Because does that make sense? Because the door goes to the ground. Yes. And if you want, you can, there's tons of ways you can modify that. You can add different things to it. The important thing is knowing how to make it so that Revit does all the work for you rather than you creating because before BIM you would still need these types of sheets 
but you had to do this all manually like one at a time and go and say okay this door at this room and yes yeah, so that was Mm -hmm. Do we need to yeah. add fire rating now? Mm -hmm. or not? What's that? Do we need to add a uh, fire rating now, or is it not? Necessary? No, don't worry about it. Unless it's a commercial building? Well, I mean, every building will have fire rating and stuff, but for this little pavilion, we haven't gotten to that level. But on a real project, it would, and then you would have, because then that way they can easily see what, where am I special? Because especially if you have to get like in, when you're doing like inspections and stuff like that, a fire marshal will want to see all the fire rated doors. So here you quickly just and they can just highlight the ones they need. Because okay. those will always be more expensive. Yeah. Especially those like two hours plus. Mm -hmm. So that's window schedule. And if you wanted to modify it, you can then just go to it and then change these properties you can open up any of these filter let's say sill height what are my sill heights three feet so oh if you just open any of these it brings you to the same menu so see even though I clicked fields the other ones are all here on the tabs see so it doesn't really matter which one you pick um, and then here you can, so let's say I only wanted to see doors that were smaller than four feet for whatever reason. If you go width is less than, and we put four, it immediately took that one out because it was yeah. bigger. And so now if we go back there to filter and you say none. It will bring it back. I only have three doors, but if you had the whole project, let's say you wanted to only see doors that have glass in them, you could add that as a parameter. Or only doors that were wood, or only doors that were hollow metal doors. And you can put a schedule just for that and send it to that person. So the next thing.